Hi everyone. Uh, this is the fourth lesson for the uh, for the quadratics part, and it's not as messy as the, the stuff that we've just been doing. So it's quite nice actually. Ooh, except I've lost. Oh no, I haven't. It's there. Right. So there was a a self study about the quadratic formula to have a go at, and the important bit from that is the b squared minus 4ac. Because that tells you if you've got two roots, one root, or no root, which is what we need for this next lesson. That idea that there's two roots, one root, or no root. And the bit in the square root is called the discriminant. So some people will call it capital D, some people use delta. But it's just b squared minus 4ac. That's all we're bothered about. So if I've got, if I've got like a positive value in that square root, I'll get a plus or minus number. So what it means is I've got two distinct real roots. So it crosses twice, whether it's a, a U shape or an N shape there. Then if I've got one repeated root, that's where I just get one value out and it just touches whether it's a, a U shape or an N shape. There. So it just touches. And we've done that in some of the questions we were doing earlier. You know where you drag it down using completing the square, try and get it down so it touches the axis. So we've kind of seen that already. And then I've got no real roots. So that's where I get a negative square root if you calculate it doesn't like it. So I'd have maybe a graph like that or a graph like that. So that's potentially your page 13 done there. Um, right, let's have a look on the next page then. So it says, determine the number of real roots. So I'm just going to work out b squared minus 4ac for both of these. So b squared minus 4ac. So b is 3 minus 4 lots of a is 2, c is 8. So that's equal to, I'm very tired, so I'm not even going to try to work out what 9 minus uh, 64 is. So minus 55. So because b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, I've got no real roots. There, I have to write that smaller, won't I? If I want to do it. So let's have a look at this one then. So b squared minus 4ac. So b is minus 4. a is minus 1. And c is 7. So b squared minus 4ac gives us 44. So because it's greater than 0, let me put, my name, let me put b squared minus 4ac. Hang on, let me get a board with that. I'll try and make it as neat as possible, but I've messed myself up by putting that there. I should really, if I wrote this here, I've got room to write a similar thing here. So b squared minus 4ac greater than 0, therefore two real roots, two crossing points. And then if I look at this one, so I'm expecting this one to be um, a repeated root, aren't I really? So minus 12 squared uh, minus 4 lots of 2 times 18 gives me, gives me out 0. So b squared minus 4ac equals 0, therefore 1. Repeated root. Phew, there we go. Right, so it says, hence, match each of the above equations. Uh, you can't actually see the on mine there. So let's have a look then. So I've got, so the first one is a U-shaped one that has no real solutions. So a U-shaped one with no real solutions must be this third one across here. So that must be A. The second one is an N-shaped one with two real solutions. So I've got an N-shaped one with two real solutions. So that one must be B. 
And the third one is a U-shaped one that just touches. So that one here must be C. There. Can't quite see the axes on my screen. It's not quite picking it up properly. So hopefully that's okay. I'm on five minutes. I'm going to keep on going. I'll do this example. Then there's a question for you as well. So it says find the values for k for which it's got equal roots. So I know equal roots is repeated roots. Is b squared minus 4ac. And it implies is 0. So equal roots is b squared minus 4ac is 0. So b is k minus 4 lots of 1 times 9 is equal to 0. So I've just subbed in my numbers. So k squared minus 36 is 0. I've actually got the difference of two squares there, but I'll just write it like that. Plus or minus 6. He wants values, so he wants more than 1. So plus or minus 6 is that. There's one for you to have a go at. So I'll have a go at that one. I can try and get it to flip off the board. Then you should have got k is less than 4. Yeah. Right, I'm going to stop it there, and I'm going to do the application question separately, so you don't feel overwhelmed by it.